So welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a multi-criteria analysis with factor data in ArcGIS 10. So for this assignment, I need to I need to find the location for a factory that is that is has a criteria that it needs to be close to a railway, maximum 1,000 meters, in an area with a high education level. So the people living nearby need to be highly educated in an area with an and in an area with a high unemployment level. So knowing that, I'm going to take a look at the at the data. I have some data about the railway station locations. I have some information about the railway tracks, but I don't need it, so I'll put it off. Turn it off. And I have some information about the education level and unemployment level. So there is some kind of uh, ranking with uh, the areas that have a low education level that are red and the green areas with a high education level. So who made it? I don't know. But you see in the attribute table that it has this ranking and it's important. This is an important attribute. You should remember that. The same accounts for the unemployment data. So red areas, low uh, unemployment, and green areas, high in unemployment. So the green areas we need. Then I'm going to... I already made a model for the layer I'm going to create. This is the one I need. First I'm going to create a buffer around the railway stations. And then I'm going to intersect this output with the education level and the unemployment level. With the tool intersect and then the output is what I need. So did, this one did not run yet because you can see at the shadow it did not run. Now it's running, shadow appears and now you can add it to the display like this. And you see it will appear over there. Well now, this is what it created. It looks like it only created created a buffer around the stations, but it also has some information about the education level and the unemployment level. You can see that in the attribute table. And so the railway, this is the information for the railway, and this is the the information for the unemployment from 1 till 3 and the education from 1 till 3 what I need so the rest I can remove this one is so this is what I need now I directly see that I'm not going to fulfill all cr three criteria because here the unemployment code is three and I have no areas where the education code is also three. So this is the this should be the best one I think. Huh? Well you can make this visible by adding a field calling it total And then with field calculator you can sum all three criteria. Like this. And you see now that there are, there are four areas that are high, well most suitable. Eh? They have the score six. You see here now that there are that these are more than four polygons, but with with the two multi part to single part, you can make you make you can make single polygons of this. But I'm not going to show you right now. So final thing I can show is that if you think well, the education code of the education level is way more important than, for example, the unemployment then I can give this a higher score by saying in the field calculate in the calculation again 
example, I'm not going to say that education code level is more important, but I'm going to say that unemployment level is more important. You can say that by multiplying this criteria with, with for example, two or maybe three, huh? doesn't matter. But now, if I multiply it with three, then the unemployment it is three times more important than the education or the real way. Well, this is all the same score, so it does not count actually. But it's now it's three times more important than the education level. So if I do it now, you can directly see that the scores did change. And now you see that there, there's only one area. That's actually four, five polygons, but had this area only has a score 12. Well, that actually is a multi criteria analysis with factor, very, very easy actually. Um, but these are also not very difficult uh, uh, layers or data. Um, so with with properties, I can visualize it a little bit more clear. Uh, you all need to know that by now, how to do that. Like that, and then you say flip symbols. So you see now that, that the dark green areas are more the most important, or not, and as the most criteria fulfilled, and the reddish areas have the less criteria fulfilled the least criteria fulfilled and you can see that like this so this is the end result in which the green areas are mostly suitable okay